Hello everyone, it's been a minute, I know. I have some semi-bad news, quasi-bad news. This school year ended and I went on vacation with my family. It was not, I didn't do any of the planning. Uh, my wonderful family, my in-laws, they did everything. We went camping on this river out in the middle of nowhere. It was wonderful. It was so wonderful, in fact, that I decided to throw my phone in the river and let it stay there forever. So this place we were staying at on the river had absolutely zero cell signal zero bars on anyone's phone and I had stupidly brought my phone down to the river to use it as a camera which I've done many many trips usually I'm more careful with it I usually have a place to put it because I go kayaking a lot and this time we went tubing and the tube I had didn't have a bottom and my velcro pockets on my swimming trunks gave way gave way gave way and so my phone slid out of my pockets and apparently out through the hole in the bottom of the tube and fell into the river somewhere. <laughs> and there's no cell phone signal, absolutely zero cell phone signal. <laughs> I had it on airplane mode. No one can call it. There's no signal to call it even if we wanted to, but because I had it on airplane mode, I also couldn't track it with my watch. Around this time, around this time, I get into a really bad habit, this nasty little habit of deleting my large video files from backup. See, all my stuff automatically backs up. But I was deleting the large video files for this channel off of there to save space on the cloud so that my stuff would continue to back up. And I would just delete it off real quick so that my stuff would start syncing again and I just recently started doing that. So I bragged last video about having two videos about to release at the same time or uh, within short order of each other because I've been working on them for quite a while. I changed my opinion on what order I wanted to release the videos. So I ended up doing like two or three videos all pretty well simultaneously. But two of those finished videos are at the bottom of the river along with a, quite a bit of other footage that I've been recording for the channel. And the videos were almost complete. I mean, I spent hours and hours editing them. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Um, now I'm starting over. I wish I could say that the phone was the only thing that fell in the river, but I actually lost tons of stuff. I don't know. You would think I was a complete noob. I don't know what I was thinking, what was going on, but I mean, I just kept dropping stuff in the river and losing it. It was a complete joke. I, I should have been re I should have had somebody recording that. Could have made a great comedy. Who knows? Maybe the videos will be better this time, even though I really enjoyed what I made before. So the good news, the good news is. I decide to let you guys into my process a little bit and take advantage of this. I don't have a super huge YouTube channel with, you know, millions of followers, but I do care about you guys. And you may be wondering like, why is this guy not cranking out any content? Maybe you enjoyed the videos. Maybe you're ready to learn some more about art and no videos have dropped, but that's what's going on. Maybe we could turn this into a good thing. I don't know how, because I lost some really good stop motion footage. Uh, right now, I've currently found a lot of the raw footage. I'm missing some stuff, so some of it I can't recreate. To be honest, I've had a lot going on lately. I had to help somebody build a wheelchair ramp. A bunch of uh, trees fell down in my parents' yard and I had to go split firewood for them. And just basically trying to just recover from that just trying to get back started has been a process because I don't like I don't like video editing so I'll just let you know that like I record my work while I'm working and I'm enjoying that I'm having fun I think it's fun to come up with the creative angles and stuff which I'm doing more of now I'm not you know don't judge me uh, I'm, I know I'm not that great yet but I do enjoy that kind of thing and it's fun to me and I like making entertaining videos as well as teaching people things about art and process it's it's a chore editing is a chore for me there there's some fun aspects to it i'm not gonna lie but that is just that is the lead that's the most that is the most arduous step in the process for me editing is a real chore and so since i had these videos pretty much almost done i'm talking about hours hours worth of footage on each video just 
combed over and combed over and perfected down to 20 minute videos, I just, it, it's, it's been really hard for me to start back redoing those because I've already done them once. And so what enjoyment and thrill I've had is gone. I'll take this opportunity to tell you a little bit about my process. I'll set up my camera uh, tripod and try to get certain angles here and there while I'm working. I've only got one camera and that's my phone, though I'm thinking about using one of my spare phones as another camera because the last few phones I've had have had all have had magnificent cameras. And so I might do something like that where I could have multiple angles. But usually I just switch the, the camera when I'm working. I'll notice like, hey, you know, it'd be cool if you could you could see more. Maybe, maybe I'm working on something and I realize like you could see more of what I'm doing and it'd be a more interesting angle if I did like, if I change the angle to here. And so I'll just stop what I'm doing and move the camera. And once I get a, a piece completed, uh, and I take, I document it because no piece of art is finished until it's documented. That's something I learned in college and it's been very, very valuable to me. So if nothing else, if you don't learn anything else about art from this video, just remember your artwork's not done until you document and document and document and document and document and document it. Even more so in this, uh, in the age of information like we live in now. It doesn't exist basically until it gets uploaded. So <laughs> after documenting, uh, I go back through all the footage. I try to cut out all the boring stuff. I try to make interesting cuts that are very snappy and kind of have a sense of action to them. Also, I watch the footage and see if anything humorous jumps out at me. I like to add a lot of jokes to my work to my videos. Once all the footage is relatively trimmed down, I like to keep my videos around 20-ish minutes because that seems to be the format where people actually can pay attention and watch the whole thing. Um, and I don't want to waste your time, okay? I know your time is valuable. That's why I put all the little bookmarks and breaks at the bottom of the video so that you guys can pick the part you need to see if you're in a hurry. So I value your time. I replay the footage several times trying to uh, work out the dub and I just record my commentary over what I'm doing and that's the last step and I was pretty well, pretty well done with one video uh, all the way. I had a little more of the dub to record and then on the second video I was about halfway done with the dub but I'd done all the hours of e video editing and uh, I was at that last stage so it was really brutal. So that is what is going on with my videos right now. It's probably going to be another month or so before I have something to upload. I'm going to try to get something uploaded in under a month. But like I said, I'm starting over at ground zero. Here in the last few days, I've finally begun to start editing the footage again. So um, I got some really cool projects that I'm excited about showing you. Uh, but every time I think about the footage I lost and all that I'm going to have to redo, it's been like a barrier stopping me from working. But I'm back on task. I'm on it. Uh, I've lost some stuff, but I'm very thankful that I, I had something backed up so that all of that was, you know, not for nothing. So, um, so we should have a video in a few weeks, I'm thinking. I've got a lot of really good ideas for the future. My channel's not going anywhere. I've learned some valuable lessons about uh, process. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they're not the kind of lessons you want to have to learn the hard way, but there are worse things that can happen to someone. So, uh, I still consider myself very blessed. We have lots of interesting stuff coming up, though, on the channel. So, stay tuned. Sorry for the inconvenience. <clears throat> I will see everybody next time.